Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. I'm Bryce Castillo, your green room pre show navigator. I'm, I'm navigating you through the interwebs. Wait, I'm, I'm simply navigating you through the interwebs. Hello, and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we've got a fantastic show for you tonight. Coming up, uh, we're going to play some more Would You Rather Bots. I got some graphics. Oh, gra oh graphic. Oh, graphic. So we got some graphics for that. Do your birthday, Borners. It's been two weeks since we did some birthdays, so we'll do that at the end of the... Uh, when we get back from the green room here. I think Corey and me may talk a little about cars or maybe something else. I mean, there wasn't a race, so there may not be too much for us to talk about. It's just racing specifically. But, uh, but that'll be coming up. We also, by the way, uh, if you haven't already, uh, go to watchgreatnight.com. That's a domain that you can go to. Watchgreatnight.com and uh, check us out on YouTube. You know, uh, last uh, two weeks ago, good gracious, uh, when we did the episode and well, I, don't know, I guess like, even last week when we did the trivia uh, from Scoopfest, the Mikey quiz, uh, we, we put up a, a, a couple of extra little, a little extra little clips there for you, some other little videos. And uh, it's been good to see that uh, people are going and tuning in, checking them out. Uh, Justin getting his head shaved uh felt like it was gonna be this very short thing and then it was just like kind of a nice whole little thing and then we get to see brett's most of brett's bet and uh, uh what was the other thing oh and the two personal mentalism act yes that was very good so uh check it out a fearless Reap says i want to see all of the possibly wisely cut footage of jury cussing the barber no it was not it wasn't like a cussing out sort of thing it was just like Okay, yeah, we'll come back at noon. Sure. You know, it was a little more, it was a little more than that. It was, yeah, yeah, well, okay, yeah, we'll come back. Because, because I mean, most of, the, almost all of that, I think all of that video, well, maybe not by the end of it, but almost all of that video takes place before noon. So I, I think we were keeping, just keeping that as like an emergency full exit. Alrighty then. Oh, yes, okay, yes, okay. Well, let's take you in. Let's take you into the green room here in just a moment. Green room, can you hear me? Hello, hello. hello. It is Bryce. There we go. There we go. Uh, how's everything in the green room? Uh, we are doing space, great, man. Look, we uh, we got we got asteroids, we got eclipses, we got my knees. It's yep. unreal. Yeah, but we also have the host of a congressional dish, Shane Bryan. Hey. hey. Uh, so uh, Jen Briney shows up uh, and she's like, uh, this is great. What is it? Uh, yeah. And, and we, we have failed to give a sufficient answer as uh, yes. up until this moment. We've got a lot, it's about We've an got hour. A lot of That's questions what it about is. What, what I feel like I'm going to learn as we go, and I'm fine with that. Totally fine. Yeah. Can, Justin said I'm going to pick you up at 4.30, and that's all I knew. So it's like I'm just here for the adventure. Perfect. Basically. And uh, I appreciate you letting me join your thing, not having any idea what it is. Let's not bury the lead. No. I've never encountered a person like Jen Briney, okay? A fellow human who expresses megamorts in the format of 911s. <laughs> this is whoa, my whoa, whoa, whoa. Say if that I last missed, sentence again. Megamorts. Megamorts. Megamorts like dead yeah, morts. She look this See? girl, 911s. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. I don't get it. Right. <laughs> what, what is it that we understand that you guys don't? Mega Morts. <laughs> well, Mega I, Morts I, was, I, okay. <laughs> this was crowned in the car, so I could not take credit for He was it, driving. But, but Mr. 911 has met his sister. Sister 911. <laughs> Mr. 911. Sister 911. Yes. I count car crashes in 9-11s. Uh, <laughs> we had 12 last year, one oh, per month. Uh, apparently, the audio is being destroyed. So, uh, I, uh, you know what? Uh, I'll just talk. Let's all talk quietly until Bryce shows up. To oh, fix it. Oh, yes. oh, no, it's fine. It's what fine. Do do He's got it. Oh, okay, got He's it. He's got it. Here he comes. We got it. Hey, Everybody's fine. We're fine. Stop worrying about it. I was worried it a little bit. Don't, though. So, not at all? Not at all. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. Moving on, uh, uh, Brian. Yo, what uh, uh, what'd you do this weekend? Uh, you know what? I got a sunburn because I was A B test. God damn it! This is there. There are moments when I start to talk and I hear what my mouth is saying. And you're like, yeah. and oh then I'm boy, like, I'm yeah. already laughing because I can hear the way Justin hears all of this. Bryce, oh, I mean, Bryce. Bryce. I see Brycey is making his his. Moves. I'm gonna be at the computer for one second. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. touch this. Uh, I got a sunburn 
because I was A-B testing various levels of misters for the patio. Not Mr. 9-11. Not Mr. 9-11. <laughs> Did you start at that level? Did I you start started, at level 9-11? I did start at 9 and went to 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> this mister goes to 11. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I set up uh, two hoses with, with various levels of like, uh, what would be pleasant? A little bit of rain droppage or just full on mister? Because uh, you go to all the, the bars, the outdoor bars, they got the misters and whatever. So but here, let, let's, I, let, 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 let's set this up real quick because uh, Brian is, is, is way deep into this. But yes. the outdoors... For anybody who's been to the property, that's right. There is a picnic area. That's right. Uh, that you have now converted fully into what looks to be, if you're shooting, yep, a outdoor bar in Austin, a Texas. hill country outside bar. So like yeah. right nice. now, it looks yeah. like a dive bar, <laughs> but when you no, get it, when, the, the more you put yeah. work into it, it will look like a barbecue I mean, place that people bust right themselves out from the convention center. I mean, number one, ouch, but yes. Uh, no, no, but, no. Uh, yeah. No, you were saying you weren't done yet. I was just... Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I tried to compliment <laughs> you, yeah. and then you fucking were like, <laughs> no, no, it looks like shit. You know what? It's like shit. No. It's shit. <laughs> so, uh, your, so your levels that you were going is the light mist... To full on golden shower. I mean, what's yeah. what's well, your uh, during golden big hour? Drops. Well, no. I, I I had one zone. If you're waiting in line at Harry Potter in Orlando, you want big drops. That's right. Yeah. Like you'll take what you yeah, can get. Yeah, I guess get. I'll take a fire hose in that situation. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When you're drenched in sweat next to two fucking Belgians, like, and and you've been there for an hour. Because you half. know those damn Belgians. I mean, well, they, we've had some days here in the last few weeks that have been like. That's my point. It was yeah. 96 in the middle of of, of Sunday afternoon, and uh, Andrew Heaton came over because I was going to trick him into watching a. Uh, uh, Sorry to bother you, which he did not sufficiently enjoy for its masterpieceness. He thought it went too long, and although he did appreciate how much gratuitous horse cock there was, uh, the uh, uh, <laughs> he would. That's uh, the thing he appreciates. <laughs> he really loved. I mostly like the horse cock. <laughs> He definitely said he was going to write in Equisapiens to a future episode. Nice. <laughs> uh, but the first thing when he got here, I was like, okay, walk over here, walk over. Okay, uh, mist, huh? Uh, what do you think? Mist? Okay. Okay, mm. slight uh, rain just ended, a few droplets. How's that? Okay, all right. All right, here's kind of a rain thing. And then uh, we both agreed that like droplets were kind of annoying, but here's where I'm at is most of it will be misted. Mm. There'll be one area that'll be end of a, a thunder shower droplets. And so when it's hot enough, you can kind of just, just walk over to that area and then walk okay. back. I'm going to so be like optional. I'm yeah. sitting in it. I'm yeah. full on right. old man right now. When I say this is the problem with the misters is that when it's the heat, it's not about the heat. It's about the humidity. Nah. If it's oh hot and dry, you're not, you're if it's not hot and dry, okay. if it's this hot and dry guy. and you have a mist on uh, you, why don't then they make the whole case. plane out of the mister? Right. Listen uh, to my attorney. Three, uh, 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 right, uh, sorry, hold on. Wait, wait, uh, three, two, one, and Jen, you have voting shares. A uh, uh, fire, Brett. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Thanks, everybody. Just me. Uh, Just you me. Know, I'll, I'll see my way out. I got my hand down. I kept my hand down. You know what? I'm out of here. All right, Doug. You guys can do them because as a Californian, we don't have enough water. So in fact, you guys have water. Yeah. I'm I blame mm. uh, Colorado about so that. So we we were talking about the magical nature of this property on the way in. Uh, one of the other magical nature of things is that that road right there is literally the Austin city limits, and we are outside of the Austin city limits, which makes it a little bit easier to dig a well, which I would like to do very soon before they change the laws. Like immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before yeah, incorporated. As I possibly can. And corporations coming very quickly, I'm yeah. sure. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, the big water tower, that that's straight up like I get mad every time every time I draw uh, drive in and, and there's a big old uh, thing hooked up to a, 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 a fire plug and they're just taking all my water. I'm like, that's my water. That's my water under my land and you're taking it and I should be taking it <laughs> and using and it to mist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should be throwing it into the air. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I want to be the one throwing it into the air. Literally oh. making it rain. <laughs> That's well, the I want real that. Ballers. That's the big. That, you know, the government. Their big thumb. 
They just won't let you let it rain. They uh, won't. They won't let you make it rain. No, they need to be the ones. They, oh. Big rain. Oh, I need to be raining in my apartment. In the chat, they're saying, well, water smells like farts. Uh, I don't think here. I think this is, we're literally in a spring, a, a, a pure water spring. It, right? it's, uh, it's because it's a, um, the aquifer that we're on. Mm -hmm. the, uh, it has. Uh, By the way, that was very classily avoided where you didn't say the name of the literal road that we're on. Right. Keep going. Uh, the aqu but, but truly, the yep. aquifer that we're on is uh, uh, covered yeah. with limestone, so it filters through, but not like through. Exactly. Through you, the other thing is smell. that the, the uh, phone number that you have yes. is 512. <laughs> 512. <laughs> <laughs> Cake farts, uh, just in case. You know what I saw on TikTok the other day? Uh, a, a woman had a big, like, stone bowl and filled it up with water, and she was, like, making her own mineral water by having it— By putting minerals in water? Go, having the water go through, a, I guess, a big mineral bowl filter thing. Could, could but it, would, like, dr it, it wasn't like there was, like, a hole. It was, like, it would conden condensate and, like, collect at the bottom of it. And do we think this was actually doing anything? I don't. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was maybe there's filtration elements to it. I I just I mean, saw it was a big rock. on TikTok. Yeah, and that that's what it was doing it was, for sure. It was filtering out anybody over the age of twelve. <laughs> because, <laughs> never mind. Do they know something that I don't? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 just. No. If you want to smell farty oh. water, in order to keep our golf courses green and like grass in California, they used recycled water. Uh, and when uh, those oh, spring, we water. call them stinklers. Yeah, they're absolutely stinklers. disgusting. Stinklers, yeah. gray water. Talk about a mist that you're not going to be <laughs> yeah. refreshed by. Uh, uh, I bet, I bet it's, awesome. it's good for the, I bet it's good for the plants though. It is. The plants love it. Yeah. Sure. I mean, the plants have either stinkler water or no water. Take your fucking pick. Yeah. What? Sorry. What? Stupid yeah. plants. Say whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> we go hard we on plants. We were talking about 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> let's keep it. Let's have keep it respectful, Bridie. Bridie! Oh, apparently I named your episode. It's going to be called Stinklers. Stinklers, yeah. Uh, there, uh, there, uh, has everybody been out to Florida and experienced the smell yes. of their water? Yes. We've, whoa, right, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, whoa. which part of Florida? It's, it's, Florida. Little, it's a little different than Central that's down Florida. south, my friend. Also, you can't the do the south, it's, my it's, friend. It's, it's, it's got to be central. That's a totally different thing. It's not the same place. Boy, that's a great Florida Am I close? accent. Number yeah. one. <laughs> Fantastic. Am I close? Get yeah, this guy on Miami Vice. Number two. You getting on me in <laughs> fucking Texas? Like, as if it's not the most fucking provincial state? I have a, no idea what you're... I'm from Louisiana, so fuck oh, you. I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ba -dam -boo -da -e. Man, no, exactly. yeah, we need that. Yeah. If, you, that if you call somebody from Fort Worth like from that's Dallas, okay like you'll get shot. Years. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, Central Florida has <laughs> smelly water. Uh, okay, how is it that I came to know about the smelly water only having visited the panhandle, though? Oh, I don't speak for the panhandle. Oh, okay. who gives a fuck okay. what happens yeah. there? It yeah. might also have stinky red neck. That's Weston, right? That. I mean, Weston. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or De uh, Destin, Destin, and, and uh, Fort Walton Beach sure. that area. Yeah, yeah. I like Fort Walton Beach. It's beautiful, right? I like yeah. all of it. They it's have nice. more mini golf per capita than anywhere else on the planet. Is that a, an important thing for you? Yeah, it is for me because yes, if it so is, fun. we need to take you to Peter Pan mini golf. Oh, and no, 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 it, it, it's it's some are good. Bullshit compared to Goofy Golf in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. I will yeah. go to the mat on this one. Well, okay, it's not a fucking B. We are, wow, like, we're I all over. I'll end area. everything. I'll set fire to this house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Goofy Pan Golf for life. Peter Pan mini golf is a fun experience. Goofy Golf is still open. This historic property lasted until 2000. Drunken mini golf. I'm in. That's what I'm saying. Drunken mini golf. Sure. That's, yeah. Thursday. I mean, what do you think? Why did you say it what twice? Do do? Let's do it Thursday. Because they drunk didn't mini hear golf. me. Drunken mini golf. Maybe. Yeah. So I kind of mini why, golf. Why did you drunk say drunk mini, golf. mini golf? Why did you say it twice? I want to hit the okay. river. Like, like, why did you say it twice? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we can. I'm in. Ashley's out of town, man. I, I got I got fucking shit to do. Ooh, yeah. I did get so much done today. Holy shit! Does not having the only other person in my house fucking make me do work because I'm so bored. Yeah. Uh, it's a real I, thing. I, 
I want to know how much you got done today, but I also want to share that, share. that you are an inspiration to me. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I figured I'm kicking I, Bonnie out next week. I can 10x my productivity if I get her the fuck out of the house. Uh, you do this show after getting up like before 7 a.m., is that correct? 5.35. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, I, will, I, I am usually in bed, bed by about four hours at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go work out for an hour. Wow. And then I come back. I rode my bike today. <laughs> <laughs> the, Wait, so the worst the worst weird owl parent. <laughs> Are you done working out by like seven AM? Uh seven twenty or so, yeah, seven fifteen. Why even be a podcaster? Can, like the whole point of this life is to sleep in. <laughs> Yeah, but She's then, a point. but see, here's the thing. The second level beyond that, once you've done that, is you then go to sleep early. Yeah. Okay, but, you but, the, but then you do this early, show. Do I do. Yeah, well, I, I try to go to sleep around 10. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. I don't, really? Yeah. I, I oh. also go work out at 6 a.m. Fucking name. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Look at yeah. Okay, look, you guys don't I, I also work out at 6 a.m. Do you know that's that crazy. you were an inspiration to Brian Brushwood? <laughs> yes. I, I and did we know are that. very proud. That I, was you keeping it I was keeping it I was keeping it low key. I got on my bicycle at seven ten this morning. Good. With the intention of making it to the elementary school before my daughter, so I could mm -hmm. give her a high five. That's what I've been doing I every mean, day oh. for two oh. whole days. I would like. So, to <laughs> and as it works, have you done it? The first uh, annual. One <laughs> out of two. Fifty percent of the time. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> Didn't even do it the second time. <laughs> how long? How long of a ride is it? It's so far. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't even imagine. How many 911s is a mile? <laughs> a mile! A mile? No, it's, it's farther. <laughs> I haven't seen How many a lot miles? of bike Come on. lanes. Is it death defying? Yes. Uh, Here okay. it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yes. terrifying. Uh, I think the round trip was maybe eight miles. That's a good ride. Yeah, yeah. But I with mean, no bike lanes. Yes. Correct. And only the support of my rad power bike. And you and the oh, road rogue. Shit. Yes. <laughs> nice. He's got the e-bike. <laughs> just just to be clear, <laughs> the bike lanes <laughs> that are here in Austin are kind of like bait roads because then people will ride on their bicycles and it identifies to the cars where they're supposed to run them over. You know, it's like, oh, there they are. Good. I need to run over a couple of people. Yeah. I, There's I the, recuse myself from the remainder of this conversation. Yes. Well, that, right around downtown, I hit a guy. the infrastructure is great. <laughs> like, <It's> my attorney. <laughs> <laughs> but then I found like one block outside of downtown that all just fades away. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not seeing the protected stuff, but downtown There's nothing done protected. a great job. That's a completely unprotected. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, 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 hmm. I can't. Mm, no, I can't. Mm. Uh, can't what? I I pro protested my taxes, and there was a certain photo that I got to include as evidence of why uh, my previous property is not worth as much. Oh, as do we want to go into homeowner corner? <laughs> uh, homeowner corner hour! Yay! Did you just do a tool the tool man Taylor? I'm just making noise. This is the only thing I can contribute to this segment. If you got something about fucking this is a super relatable segment where everybody can understand and relate. We've all been there. You buy a property in Austin, Texas. Sure. You happen to live there in 2022 yep and then you get the message what? your property is worth twice as much what uh, so, I'm, so I'm almost at three times right now so texas wow. uh, has no state income tax what they do have is a property. fairly aggressive property tax and because a lot of the texas metro areas throughout the state but specifically in austin have gone up a lot over the last uh, two years the assessment, the state telling you what your property is worth, therefore what rate they are going it's to tax always you at inflated. Is, is high. And so there is a cottage industry of you protesting that rate. Uh, so, the, the, so or sorry, no, not the rate. They're the protesting the valuation. The value. the valuation. Uh, so yeah. then that will be lower and then your rate will be smaller. And, and now there's even an industry of people representing those who want to protest 
yes. their yes. property. Of course. Which uh, for yeah. the low, low fee of, you got to guess on what percentage they take as a finder's fee for their oh, discount percentage. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it, it's basically like, like fucking true bill or any of those things that like cancel your subscriptions for you or, or they'll, they'll, they'll renegotiate your, uh, Oh, your like thing. medical debts. And, and, stuff. and then they'll be like, yeah, we'll do it if we take blank percent uh, of whatever we save, we save you. you. Whatever yeah. you're saving. Um, ooh, I lock it in. Lock it I'm in. I'm going to say 2%. 2%. 2%. 2% fair. I said Do you know? 20. 20%. Wow. You want to take a guess? I, I, I was thinking. 2% two, two and 20%. You, you want to go in between? I was Everybody in the 10%. chat. Lock in 10%. Your percentage right 10%. now. 15. Right. You got a 17. 15%. There. 17%. Okay. okay. See, okay. people yeah. are yeah. cynical as I am. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Justin, do you like want to reveal the actual percentage? That is fairly standard among people. Oh, who you're do gonna this. sunglass it? Opening the envelope. Oh no. Forty percent. Forty percent. Forty percent of your savings goes to somebody who fills oh, out a web savings. form. Stop but it. still, who fills out still. a web form uh, the same way that you can fill out a web form, oh. but they know magic words. But I bet you they're gonna make it complicated, like the tax code, uh, to where eventually you will want to be able to. We, we, so that. weirdly, we'll find out whether or not it works as easy as it looks. But yeah. it's shockingly easy. Shockingly, yeah. I I mm. I uh, the, uh, I pressed the protest button. Yes, and it said, "What do you think it's worth?" And I typed in a number much lower than they said. Yes, and they're all like, "You got any evidence?" I went to Zillow and found very cheaply sold properties in the area. And I was like there. And in, in the case of our old duplex, I included a photograph uh, of a car. Oh, I, I, yes. I oh yeah. Bri Brian's old tenant ran a literal car through the literal garage and just left it there. Just <laughs> smashed it. <laughs> Weeks. <laughs> so I text. Weeks? I text. I text. Because so. when I saw it, it I, was like hours. For the purpose of comedy, weeks. weeks. <laughs> Still there. Still there. Right. Oh my god. Actually, it was. It was. It was almost two months that Jesus. it was there. So wow. you what? Did you just I sell the property and walk away? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no. She she eventually uh, got her notice and and vacated. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, uh, here you can read the comments on that one there if you're able to see it. Uh, mm -hmm. Most comps in the neighborhood have sold within the last six months at two hundred. 250 per square foot or less attached even at a generous 250 per square this property should be a number at number however recently number. a car crashed through this property <laughs> all caps oh my God. that's right fucking <laughs> <laughs> like the vaudevillian tax yes. protester a That's car right. crashed in a my car house crashed into the property. <laughs> the repairs have not been completed in its current state. This property should be valued at lower number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Uh, we're getting comments I that see. audio is okay. And, uh, we, if if it's bad enough, we've got it recorded. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think Austinites are learning that market rate is bullshit right now. It's well, basically and, and what the what you can kind of get away with charging people that don't know any better. Uh, Austin recently dropped off the U.S. News and World Report top ten best cities to live in. Uh, Which and, and I I've been to a lot of these cities that are on the list. This is definitely top ten. But <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. can I nice. just hire you to just hang out and say that a lot? <laughs> I don't think you. But that's the thing, right? Like people are sick of people moving to Austin. Like, I feel ashamed being like, I'm from California, even though I'm living in the higher Regency. I don't like live here. But when you say you're from California, there's this like, yeah. look. And it's not as bad. And that's the thing is, is the narrative has gotten to that way, but it's not necessarily true. There's a lot more people that are coming from Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. And they hate them way worse. Yes. He way worse. Up. Most people are coming from either like, other places in Texas or from neighboring states, California was it came in third, but there's still like this narrative. You know it's not bullshit. Yeah. That like the Californians are the reason everything's yeah. so expensive. Yeah. Like, well, and uh, no, but that's been like that for fucking ever, right? That, it was that, like that, that ten years like that ago when I visited. Nineties. Uh, yeah. Today, one of the top things on the Austin subreddit. Welcome to Austin Talk. Yeah. Be a little bit. Wait, sorry, no, no, uh, guitar. <laughs> McConaughey's. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, all right, all right. Uh, this is the sound of Willie Nelson and Matthew McConaughey <laughs> kissing. <laughs> Welcome we're to we're Austin. <laughs> we're le- weed still illegal, but guns are free. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Austin. Weed's legal? Legal? Yeah. It's hemp, I guess. I mean, it's it hemp. passed. So what it did pass. Now? Oh, no, decrim. Yeah, decrim, decrim passed. Uh, decrim. Well, well, With de- the policy uh, that they already had. Uh, yes, yeah. correct. Uh, decrim was just written down what already the prosecutors said. Okay. They said they said it is very expensive to find out whether or not your flower. Uh, sorry, I heard from a friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, whether or not your flower is is uh, 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 hemp or weed, and we don't intend to ever arrest anyone because that sounds like expensive. Because yeah. I've smelled yeah. weed here every day for a month. Well, mm. it's it's you not- though, it's you smoking the weed. You're gonna <laughs> smell it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm yeah. just, My thing is edible. Oh, exactly. sorry. Yeah. Check yeah. yourself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I retract I that statement. Weed, <laughs> I will go get my Delta 8 instead. So. But the, uh, uh, yeah, I think Austin <laughs> dropped down to 11 in the discussion in the subreddit. was basically like, guys, Austin was just cheaper San Francisco. No, and never if went. Austin no. ain't going to be cheaper than San Francisco, then... Might as well go with San Francisco. Okay. That was what the uh, top comment was. No, They're the top so comment. Wrong. No, the top comment was, we did it, Reddit. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. Because <laughs> that, the subreddit, the Austin subreddit, lives to talk shit about Austin, which I feel like is woven into the fabric of this city. But then there was this big thing about like how, like, oh, well, people might as well move to the Bay because blah, 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 blah. And like, here are things that the Bay does that Austin doesn't do. And there are some things that are absolutely true. Look, the weather is the exact same within 10 degrees for pretty much 90% of the year. But trust me, whenever anybody in Austin is like, well, it's basically as expensive as the Bay Area. <laughs> oh, no, 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 are no, no, adorable. no, no, as, you as a, are as a, adorable. as a person who works for an organization that is based out of San Francisco, I can tell you by talking to those people who are in San Francisco. Oh, no, 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 no. They're no, not, they're not me. even Jess close. Jess and I are both, COVID refugees yes. from the Bay Area. Yes. <laughs> like we have recently been paying that rent and I've been just don't I, even want to tell you that I've been doing this, but I have been researching apartment prices here and I can testify it's not even close. Not even the close. The level of Still fat that I cheap. can afford here compared to San Francisco. Like And this is now oh my, this right is now when, 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 when rates are through the roof. Tomorrow to I can the rent moon. an apartment that is a now, that like, I couldn't afford in San Francisco. Here, it is getting more expensive. Yes. Very rapidly. Right. If you, if you, if you rates, were here, yes. and, if you've and been here maybe eight it, years. Yeah. But I'm just saying, we got miles to go before we even get too close to parity of what's yeah, in, like, in the Yeah, there is no comparison to New York and San Francisco. Moved here in 2000, so I know I've watched the change happen. The increase has to suck for locals, and yeah. I do feel for everyone that's used to a certain price point, but yeah. like this is also what happened to me in L.A and to me in the Bay Area and, and it like, is all it's about everywhere. You. It's happening in Nashville, <laughs> Boston. I, I, it's, no, all I, it's all about you. I think you. Bryce was talking. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Fair. You didn't say a lot of me there. <laughs> but it's literally everywhere. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. Pits- uh, Pittsburgh seems nice. That's all. That's it's all happening I'm... there too. Uh, I was there for two fuck. weeks in the summer, and everyone fuck. was bitching about the same thing. And by the way, Pittsburgh is very nice. Yeah, and Pittsburgh I love rules. it. I was pissed. I had to switch my flight to Philly uh, to go cover politics. All I was gonna go to place. Pittsburgh. But they're both fantastic. Mm-hmm. Both great cities. Yeah. You couldn't really go wrong with that. Well, wow. this has been middle-aged man talk, a white guy talk. That's been. But she's been leading. With it. A yeah, token. I know. Token badge here. Yeah. Token, <laughs> Token badge. Token badge. Yes. That's our new NFT. <laughs> That's my nickname. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm Hello, I'm Brian Brushwood, and I'm done supporting the patriarchy. That's why I pay all of my employees in token, token badge. badge. Token badge. <laughs> Did you hear token badge lost like 90% of its value over the last I two hear weeks? I thought it would be 78%. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you know, that among right. all genital-based uh, Dude, token uh, badge, currencies. Token badge was through the roof after Me Too. It was yeah. to the moon. We uh, thought it was stable, and then the Supreme ceiling. Court. It broke the glass yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Oh. It is the most liquid currency <laughs> exactly. On the internet. As, as soon as that leak drafted, fucking token yeah. badge. <laughs> token badge oh went way down. Went way. Jesus. Took a dive. Uh, <laughs> bad, bad business move. We shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Did you guys see Madonna's 
NFT thing. Oh no! She's Please got, tell me it's token badge. <laughs> <laughs> They're like animated, like three D clips of her like giving birth to trees and what? whales and shit. Oh, God Ew. Bless her. So NFT. Is... I mean, at least that sounds like a weird thing that I would like to say I owned. I'd like to I, see Yeah, it. I guess so. I mean, like, I, I, at the very least, it's like all art needs to justify itself by way of something, right? And and that's sure. novelty. I, yeah. Here's my plebe brain when it comes to NFT, those, NFTs, because, like, I understand owning a painting. Mm-hmm. I don't understand owning a thing that I can screenshot. Do, do you understand bragging? Yes. Then you understand NFT. Yeah, it really is a more of a social thing than any sort of uh, functional okay. thing. Uh, Literally I, ag- I right? agree. Uh, if, if, not to get too far in the weeds, but in, yeah. NFTs, I do think will will eventually settle down. But right now, yes, you're right. They're in the Beanie Baby phase, and they'll they'll get past. There it. are really cool ideas you could do with an NFT well, that are not a JPEG or a GIF. But nobody's doing that because it's very easy to well, make. Well, everybody's uh, figured it out. It's the same reason why, like, the internet was, you know, like, do you know how many shitty websites had to happen before the hamster dance? Like thousands, <laughs> the thousands and thousands. And that, and that was the and that was that was Hello. the first time when you're like, oh look. And it's like, like, oh, that's interesting. I like to go to that website. Before thousands before. Thousands of dumb, shitty websites for which everybody's like, I don't get this internet thing. And then somebody's like, oh, I don't know. The hamster dance is cool. I'm Walter yeah. Cronkite. And the day the internet was born <laughs> was 1998. <laughs> the day the hamster dance was published. Oh. We go now to Larry. Uh, uh, hi, hi, Walter. Hold on. Hey Siri, when did Walter Cronkite die? (laughs) 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 NFTs are all over the place. (laughs) You can believe me, I'm the most trusted man in America. Also, I'm dead. I I couldn't. I did hear one idea for NFTs that I could kind of get into, and it might not even be what was it? NFTs are like smart contracts, but something that universities could do, where like you get basically an NFT for the university. And then you kind of get access to their classes and their resources like forever. So it costs mm. a lot of money. But like I look at my own college experience, which was just outside of like it was basically Hollywood. So we had amazing recording equi- equipment. And as the technology progressed, I didn't get to go and like update my education. So my education and that shit stopped in 2004, like mm-hmm. high outdated, but I still took 120 grand from me. So like, and I feel I, like I should get to update that I, shit. I, I think that's the really potent argument for NFTs is anything that pre up until this point, you needed to have a piece of paper for, uh, imagine you didn't need that piece of paper and, yeah. and, and, and somebody and, and no one central authority figure had to be in charge of making sure your name was on the list or whatever. I would honestly rather talk about 9-11 than (laughs) NFT. (laughs) (laughs) Well. I would would honestly. Brian and I are down. Muhammad Atta, what do you think? Yes or no? Uh, (laughs) Is it Jerry Smash smash or pass? Muhammad Atta. Was he hot? No. Was How hot? hot was he hot? hot? <laughs> Before hey Siri, crash. was Muhammad Atta yeah. hot? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's a height thing. Can you find yeah. out how tall oh he was? God. Is I'm it a, oh I'm, no or let's roll? Much, <laughs> much, much like 9-11, I, I don't want to see Bryce's reaction to seeing Muhammad Atta and evaluating <laughs> if he's hot, but I can't he's like, go no. away. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> God damn it. He's not hot. He's not, he's not hot. <laughs> Yeah, he's like he looks like such a psycho though. Like you have to be yeah. really I in the nut bag. It has to be really cur- those this eyes. Guy, like, this guy could blow up a building or two. I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> technically, just one. Yes, just one. It's not yeah. the best Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> he'd have to have one with a dog, one where he's smiling, <laughs> he's and one blowing up a building. Yeah, he could uh, do better. He did have friends. It's a past. He had nineteen friends. Eighteen. <laughs> 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 Eighteen. <laughs> oh no! I hate myself. I hate myself so much right now. I hate all of you. What I love is I hate the last fifteen years. Of I my love life. that you're like. <laughs> All right, five minutes. Thank you, five. Oh. Oh, thank you very much, Bryce Castillo. Bryce. Hey, I see Bryce. Bryce. 
Man, do you remember when you were where you were when Bryce was checking out? When Bryce was, was trying to. <laughs> it's a pass. It was a pass for Bryce. And we still don't know the height, so so Jen is an undecided. What? Uh, undecided on on, on Otto. I'm on just Mo. gonna go like no on That's Otto. That's it, probably really smart. for other smart. reasons. Yeah, just really. for like personality yeah. reasons. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to move on. He doesn't have kind eyes. That's I know. Right. I want to stay in this room forever. I'm yeah. 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 Uh, they can't even hear. Yeah. Us. So so you are at the end of your current Austin stay. You are yeah. out on Friday, Maybe. right? I, I heard she's Friday. looking for apartments that uh, yeah. start with you ATTA. Can't, you can't push. You can't. You can't. You can't push. She, she she is a digital nomad. Her and her husband they go all over the country, all over the world. So, so a secret, we travel full apartment. time, but the length of time we stay in places is fluid. Yeah. Nice. Put it that way. But uh, uh, and I just there don't is a feel new podcast coming out. Uh, uh, me and Jen are two thirds of it. Uh, I will leave it. Well, no, I've already said it. It's yeah, me, Heaton, know. and Jen on a new political podcast. I'll tell you guys a secret. It already exists on the internet. Oh yeah, no, it's called We're Not Wrong, and you can subscribe to it right now. <laughs> Wait, uh, what just happened? We're <laughs> being weird about when we announce it, even Heaton, though everybody knows. Fucking Heaton is like, hello, Andrew Heaton here. I couldn't. Arrive in person, so I've taken over the body of Brian Brushwood. <laughs> it's usually, why, it's usually me. So. That you're really looking good, not Dude. upon these uh, scabby knees, <laughs> but upon a tweed suit. It's me, Andrew Heaton. Shocking amount of shorts on that man uh, these days, by the way. Oh uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Awesome and I think, I think I think it looks really good. He so, pulls them off for sure. Bro, bro is hot a lot. He's <laughs> and he is hot. <laughs> Like uh, in all of the ways. Give me your Andrew Heaton impression on why he would not want to release the uh, announce the the existence of this podcast immediately. Oh no, I'm totally in favor of announcing it immediately. It's just that I don't want you to announce it at all. And I <laughs> <laughs> Because you're worried that... <laughs> because I'm worried <laughs> that I have a date on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that right? It's almost too close. Yeah. Okay. It's, right. almost, it's almost too close. Okay. No, literally, we have, like, because Jen's only here for another few days, and so we're going to try and get a, a few episodes in, in, in the bank. Uh, Which uh, we're going to fail, by the way. Oh, no, we're going to do it tomorrow. It's going to be fine. We're gonna do I wouldn't say we're failing. I'd say we're... Succeeding downward. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I had to lock it down because he had a successful date the other night, and I'm like, I'm like, no, we are locking down a fucking date and a time, like, so you don't be like, well, uh, 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 as it turns out, I've double booked myself. I'm picking strawberries. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. See that? That's how he always gets you. Is when he's got a bullshit excuse. The bullshit excuse is usually like giving blood to the homeless or something. Yeah. Like or something it's legit. some fucking like uh, 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 nothing. Very... Nothing. Like when we were recording and we we're gonna spend the day together, and Andrew just fucking leaves for a few hours. <laughs> Okay. And Justin and I had no idea where he went. Are you coming back? Are we doing this today? Like, what you, is happening? You know what? I'm glad that you brought this up. So now true. listen. <laughs> That's so true. We were sitting there and we recorded one thing. And then he's like, oh, oh, oh. He looks at his phone and he's like, I, I, I have to take this. I have to take yeah, this. And I have then just to take a call. And leaves. First of all, but then I he sound gets the card, he nothing leaves. like that. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> I some sound people nothing say like that. ghosts aren't real. <laughs> 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 I say I love As Isaac Asimov. <laughs> Um, whoever said you're not a fan of Andrew, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, you're you just, just don't wrong. Know. I am the biggest <laughs> fan of Andrew. Which no, is why don't I could don't take the chat seriously. Yeah, don't, don't do not do take that. the chat That's seriously. Andrew is that way. The that best. way. No, 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 no. I just want to make it perfectly clear. We clear. fucking love him. Like, like love we are like we are him. the biggest fucking Heaton fans of all time. That oh, we can yeah. appreciate. Mm -hmm. Unlike you plebs, we we can appreciate <laughs> the full nuance of. The, the heaton of it all, the heaton condition. Uh, that's what yes. it was. Irish goodbye is exactly what it was, and my Irish ass can appreciate it. It's fine. It's funny. It's funny. Which uh, is no, why it I wasn't. Bring it so it, uh, was, it was him fucking not admitting that he had a conflicting thing and then just leaving. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like oh, I suckered him back in. All right, so. somebody, yeah, somebody needs to save this podcast, and it's up to me, <laughs> Andrew Heaton, to make sure it happens. <laughs> Mission Control, are you there? Hello. Hi, it's me, Andrew Heaton. I love centralized government, and oh. socialism is great. Oh. Make sure that goes on my tombstone. 
Okay, great. There you go, everybody. Conservative comedian Hi. Andrew Heaton. Oh, shit. Oh, you okay? <laughs> I, I you feel okay? like I just got 9 11. Oh, all right. <laughs> Toss it. All right. Thank you, Green Kinky Green Room. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the pre show. Uh, I'm Bryce Castillo. We've got uh, some birthdays to do. Hey, Corey. Hey, what's happening? Oh, you know, we're doing, the we're doing the Tuesday thing. Yeah, we are. It has been a while since we've been here. We've got a good number of birthdays. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, Dan 33's birthday was on the 10th. Happy birthday, Dan. Sorry we didn't do an episode last Dan, week. Dan, getting older. And uh, Sean CT's birthday was on the 7th, and uh, they spent a their trip back from Spain watching back episodes of Great Night. Oh, Spain. That's very I want to cool. go to Spain. Uh, Forces had their birthday on the 14th. Happy birthday, Forces. Yeah. And Bobcat is letting us know Mike TV's birthday was on the 7th. Happy birthday, Mike. Yeah. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for being here. Thank you for being here. Uh, hello, Corey. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Um... Uh, 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 I, I, a little bit of critical racing theory. There was no race, or n there was Miami, but we already talked about Miami, I think. Did so we? yeah, I guess we did a little bit, right? Uh, it was boring, I guess, right? Yeah, there wasn't too much to talk about, I guess. No, no other than all my teams won. It did, well, okay, I, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Feel? So this coming up this weekend is uh, Spain. Yes, Catalonia. How do you feel about Catalonia? Uh, kind of classic track. Verstappen will dominate. Yeah. Okay, okay. Stappen will dominate this one. Uh, are you worried about upgrades? That's the name of the game right now. Everyone's talking about upgrades. We're going to have upgrades in a few races. That's why I'm so confident, is because Red Bull is bringing a, a pretty dramatic weight reduction. Oh, really? They are. Ooh. So already the fastest car on the track is all of a sudden a whole lot a lighter. lighter. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, have you seen all of the other? Have you seen the, uh, the other teams that are like stripping away more and more, more paint? paint? <laughs> yeah, so it's basically <laughs> like black with just like a, we just put a little bit of decal on there. What's the minimal amount we can have and keep the sponsors happy? Yeah, I uh, I feel like it was not clandestine that McLaren updated their livery after they announced it so that the top of the engine cover was black yeah. instead of bright orange. Mm -hmm. um, it's a shame because I like seeing the colors. I like yeah. especially when they do all the gloss and stuff. But they take a, they use less of it for the it's, weight. It's crazy in Formula One that a little bit of paint uh, adds mm -hmm. so much weight. They are actively concerned about it. Yeah, grams worth of yes. paint, milligrams worth of paint. Yes. Uh, open base is this uh, is our first talk of Miami uh, since we didn't have oh, the show last week. Well, okay. Great. Well, yeah, we can cover some Miami if I remember that. Yeah, it was so long ago. Uh, you know, the reason it's going to be difficult for me is because I have been going back and binging on the F1 TV, oh. the 1993 season. 93, wow, that's... Because uh, I saw, okay, here's what happened, is I, I saw a, a listicle video on YouTube from a, a WTF1 Yeah, uh, that was like, crazy endings to races. And one of them was that year's Italian Grand Prix, mm -hmm. where uh, in real time, you just, they're there you know it's it's the the camera equipment was not the same back then but they've just got one camera on the on the finish straight mm -hmm. on the finish line and you see a car kind of like skid by just mm -hmm. and you're like what the fuck happened <laughs> they show the replay from another angle and the car had front flipped oh. and landed in the same direction just yeah. enough to make it over the finish line at the like end of the final lap like mm -hmm. on the checker line too or, or checkered flag so I've been going back and watching that, and I'm like all caught up in the Senna and yeah. uh, oh, was, Hill, yeah. uh, Prost, and uh, Schumacher. Yeah, there's some. There were some fights back then, man. Yeah, the, crazy. I I think part of it is so on F1 TV they condense those races, or you, mm -hmm. you could watch the I watch the condensed like 20, 30 minute versions. Yeah, and so. When you watch it like that, it feels like something's always happening, mm -hmm. even though I know those races are super long. Yeah. But lots of crashes, lots of DNFs, not a lot of points. A lot of insane cars. Because mm -hmm. the cars back then were wild. And not safe. No. Way <laughs> before the Halo. No way. Not at all. <laughs> way before anything. I think they might have had seatbelts then. And that was about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and But I, I've really liked watching it because I think they digest it so much down, and there's just crash, crash. If you want crash. a car to be safer, just hit the brakes, man. <laughs> go a little go slower, slower. you'd be safer, man. <laughs> um, that was one of the seasons that Martin Brundle was racing. Yep. Um, Which is the announcer. Oh, yes, he he's uh, one of Sky's announcers right now. He, more of the color commentating, I guess. Uh, yeah, he does. Oh, he, he's known for the the track walks. Yeah. 
you know, him going up to the Williams sisters and oh, that's right, yeah, uh, and Meg the Stallion and all, yeah. Um, but uh, seeing young Martin Brundle and he got a podium on one of the races, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like, oh hey, but hey, look, he, he tends to crash out a lot. Yeah. He was crashing out a lot that year. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then also, I did not realize that that was the year that Michael, Michael Andretti, the second Andretti yeah. was was uh in Formula One again. Yeah. And he did not finish out the season. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Mika Hakkinen came in for McLaren, but uh, Mika Hakkinen was so good. Yeah, well, and it, you feel bad for Andretti because I don't know. There, there's a whole history behind yes. it. Him and his son and his father, uh, Mario and uh, Michael. And yeah, and uh, what's it, Mark Marco? I think is his son. Yeah, with, um, yeah, Marco Andretti. Yeah. Uh, they have all sorts of stories to tell about it, but uh, they have a nice uh, winery. Oh yeah, in Napa actually. Oh, the Andrettis. I feel like. Uh, uh, didn't Ricardo, uh, Daniel Ricardo, just come out with the wine? Or maybe it was a while ago, but I know that the Shift F1 guys yeah. are like in the same place and tasting it yeah. right now. Nice. Um, I don't know. I feel like what is what is a novelty product you would get from a driver? Like someone will do wines. Like for singers, for a while there, it was oh, perfumes. Man. Gosh, that's a really good question. I mean, obviously. Shoes maybe, or some fashion thing. I mean, I like the wine idea because I've done it. I've bought a bottle of Andretti wine and it was very tasty. Mm. They're, they're, like I said, their their winery is very nice. They have lots of money. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> lots of money, everybody. Um, gosh, mm. what would it be? Because um, they do sell like, um, you yeah, know, mini more. helmets and like you can get original helmets if you have I'm the money. Not a collector much. Yeah. But none of that really interests me. I think, I think their styling could be cool. Mm. You know, so. Mm -hmm clothing even though none of their styling would be for me i'm not a skinny european male so uh <laughs> yeah. i don't know if that would work well on me yeah you're America. not a you're not the alpha tari body type no and it's <laughs> definitely not like e even if i could pull it off over there you know in italy mm. i don't think i can pull it off here no, it's much more provocative <laughs> over there <Yeah. laughs> you could not be the weirdo here um, uh, uh, Curtis said watches. Watches would be interesting. Ooh, watches is good. A lot of them have watch sponsorships, yeah. but, mm -hmm. you know, it's not unheard of to make a Tag Hauer, Lewis Hamilton watch or whatever. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Miami. Uh, yeah. So, yeah so, the, so Miami was interesting because it's the first time we've raced there, and it's basically outside of the football team, the Miami Dolphins Stadium. Yeah, the Hard Rock so it just, uh, Stadium. It just circles around the stadium. It well, it, like, and it circles in front of the stadium. Like, it yeah. doesn't go all the way around the stadium. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it, all yeah. on one side. Yeah, <laughs> which freaked, which I thought was not the case until yeah. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it would have been cooler if they would have figured out a way to like drive through it. Yeah, how cool would that be? I think they they're talking about that for next year yeah. or something using the stadium because I don't think they they used it no. at, at all really. No, just just the outside of it basically the the front of the building but if they could drive through it like at mexico yeah oh wild and you just review you put pack that place full of people wow um but and then if someone crashes in there the, oh, oh gosh <laughs> yeah. and that, that may be why they don't is because like if something happens everybody in there dies oh yeah 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 oh, it God. is a liability yeah but surely that and i think that but you could make space up, right? what surely that stadium opens up and gets yeah because i mean they do um I'm sure they do some sort of yeah. trucking, monster trucking, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. But um, the that Formula One race made more money for the Dolphins <laughs> owner, that one race, than the whole season of NFL football there. And now, but he was, I mean, yes, crazy yes, number uh, yes. to begin with. Mm -hmm. And also, like, he wasn't the promoter. He just yeah. has, he's the person they're doing it with. Yep. Because, like, uh... Uh, Formula One is doing the promoting their, themselves, I believe, for Miami, and they're doing it for Las Vegas next year too, mm -hmm. because there's there's a ton of fucking money in it if if they can be the one who sells tickets. Yep. Um, so I'm not surprised, but also he really was just there to be the land guy. <laughs> yes, but that's still. <laughs> but it's a lot. A lot that is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It, I don't actually. The visuals of the race I didn't like very much. Yeah. Me and the uh, wife uh, Jennifer was watching, and we we just did not think the camera angles were good they weren't the there wasn't very many long shots of seeing what was happening mm -hmm. like a lot of fast cuts uh, and it looks like I, I could never tell where i was on the track yeah. there was only like one or two camera angles i was like oh okay i know where we're at the rest of it's just like this choppiness to it mm -hmm. and it doesn't help that uh it 
it like a lot of uh, m more recent tracks is almost um not symmetrical but it is yeah it, it all it both sides kind of go at the same curve mm -hmm. and so it does look a little samey um with and like there's a lot of cool opportunity there yeah. you know with like the highway stuff was kind of interesting yeah um it would be really cool for them to do stuff in the stadium yep uh, I, I felt bad because they wanted to be fancy they wanted to be fancy. So they wanted to be Monaco so bad, but it turns out they were in a parking lot of a football, an old football stadium, like literally the parking lot. They're just driving around the parking I, spots. I saw one shot, or there was one shot that they had from uh, the back straight uh, when coming past the highway, and I remember thinking it was early on, saying like, "Oh, hey, there's some, there's actually water over there. Mm -hmm. the, they, you know, they've got water here." And then they, it keeps pulling back, and it's like a ditch. Yes. <laughs> it's like a, oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're like, where's that water? Oh, yeah. And it's a runoff then, ditch. <laughs> yeah, because in Miami, they have these 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 channels, basically, for the, the floodwaters to run through, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a drainage ditch. It's like 50 foot wide of swamp water. And I, I gosh, I like the idea. Here's the thing about the fake marina. Yeah, they, yeah. So they installed oh these the boats on, marina. In, on front of, like, a big blue vinyl uh, covering that looked like water. Yes. It looked like a like if you were gonna have a bounce house for your kids' party, and, <laughs> yeah. and the bounce house that has like the water slide on it, mm. that plastic that's painted to look like water, that's what they put down on a piece of pavement. Right. It looks like a gym. It looked like a gym mat. Yeah. Basically. Yes. And yeah. That, and, that, and then they it, were those real boats that, or were those fake boats that they <sighs> set on top? I mean, or did I they think like, it's both? Right, I think they, they are like dry docked. Boat. Yeah, I think it's dry docked. I think they're real boats that are dry docked. They built the little platform <laughs> with this fake water. Is it the Miami ship? Yeah. 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 What? The Miami race, the Monaco of America. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Florida, what's up with with the first of all the the large drainage hey. ditch? So the funniest shit about that is that takes place in Miami Gardens, which is a very industrial <laughs> place that is closer to my house than it is to actual South Beach. Uh, number two, I think they were real boats. That okay. just rolled in on trailers and then built a facade around it. Yeah. And those Did are you the see those only the funny things I, that I, I know heard about, about it. it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they were real boats. <laughs> <laughs> um, but sorry, but I, I just, I just yeah. felt bad for him because it was just such a, we want to be so fancy. We want to be Monaco, except we're in the parking lot. Of okay. <laughs> and yes, yes, and you do have to also contend with the people who are like, I paid. Twenty thousand dollars for my ticket, and it wasn't nice enough. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, well. The other thing that kind of was surprising to me was how few people was in the, were there in these uh, fancy spots. So they would have these what looked like a fake beach. They poured sand out on the pavement, and then dug a hole, poured some water in it, and they had like three models out, <laughs> laying like they're just chilling at this beach. Yeah, because it wasn't like a lot of shade. No. in that very picturesque spot. Yeah, but there was only like three people there, so it looked like a party of three. And you're like, <laughs> that's right against the track. Why do they not have that place packed with yeah. people? I don't understand what's going on here. I don't know. It's it's all society. Uh, Spain is this weekend. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> uh, Accurate representation. Yeah, uh, Spain is this weekend. Yep. Well, I'm sure we'll have some thoughts on it next week. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Corey. Hugs and kisses. I think I'm Critical Racing Theory. And this has been your great night free show. Getting you uh, from from the green room into your uh, normal podcasting space. I'm doing great. Uh, one more time, uh, you can support us uh, over at patreon.com slash great night. Uh, we put bonus episodes out every week. They they have been really, really good this whole year. I think that we have really been killing the game with the bonus episodes really the whole time. They're, I think they're all great, and you should pay us a lot of money for all of them. Oh, shit. It's time to be real. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, real. it's time to be real. All right. Well, hold on. We're being real. Uh, so oh, this is uh, – let's see. I've got to be uh, – oh, here we go. Uh, I want to see – Ah, uh, there we go. Hi. All right, I'm being. Ah, oh, there we go. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna send that to the discovery. I'm gonna share that with everyone on Be Real. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for being real with us. And this has been the pre. Oops, let me go back to me. Hi. Uh, there we go. Okay. Well, let's check and see how everyone's doing. Brett. Hello, friend. Ooh. Ooh. He had. He had a good crack. He cracked open one, a cold one. Cool. But that was real sensual. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you couldn't control like like the real sensuality of that ooh. I am who I am. Maybe. All right? I am who I am. It's not about you. It's about me being weird. <laughs> Calm down, Popeyes. <laughs> Bluto. Uh, all right, let's check in with everybody. Uh, let's see. So Brett's good. Uh, Brian. Yo. Justin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annalisa. Yeah. Corey. The chat room and our fabulous audience. Yay! There we go. Thank you so much for joining us here in the pre-show. Let's take it away. I'm going to count you in, Brett. Okay. 